Ariana Grande recently went viral for her response to a detractor who criticized her 2024 7th studio album, Eternal Sunshine. On Instagram, one user wrote last week, This is her worst era ever, I'm sorry Positions era was better. The critic was referring to her 2020 record, Positions. More fans shared their thoughts on Grande's retort as one noted, Nice response, Ariana. Someone else quipped, Shadiriana is back, as an additional fan added. She really said, Ick I get paid either way. Grande released Eternal Sunshine on March 8, and the record has spawned chart-topping singles like Yes and We Can't Be Friends, Wait For Your Love, and The Boy Is Mine. Grande drew inspiration for her album's title from the 2004 American film Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. The Seven Rings hitmaker explained on Instagram that she envisioned the album as a blend of raw emotion and engaging entertainment, reflecting her own life experiences. Upon its release, Eternal Sunshine was praised by critics for its subtle vocals and poignant instrumentals, as well as the emotional depth of its themes, although some felt the songwriting lacked polish. This album marks her first new release in more than three years since Positions. As for that release, the title track, released as the lead single, soared to the top of the Billboard Hot 100, earning Grande her fifth number one hit in the United States. This achievement made her the first artist to have five songs debut at number one on the chart. In 2020 alone, the song became her third to reach the Hot 100 summit, following Stuck With You and Rain On Me. Impressively, all 14 tracks from positions charted on the Hot 100 simultaneously, ahead of Eternal Sunshine which debuted this spring. Grande shared a YouTube video in May 2022. In the video, she announced her decision to temporarily sideline her music career to dedicate herself fully to the role of Glinda in John M. Chu's eagerly awaited film adaptation of the beloved Broadway musical Wicked. Following a tutorial on achieving her geometric eyeliner look with one of her REM products, Grande addressed a fan's question about her seventh album. She candidly confessed that the album had not yet come into existence. My role in Wicked is going to have every piece of me, every minute, every ounce of my heart, my time, my soul, my everything that I can give it, Grande said. My hands are quite full with a lot of other thrillifying work at the moment. I am spending all of my time with Glinda, I just was not ready. Thus, Eternal Sunshine did surprise many of her fans earlier this year. Ariana Grande is no stranger to the ups and downs of being in the public eye. As one of the most successful pop artists of her generation, Grande has amassed a huge following, but she's also had her fair share of critics. Among these critics, internet trolls are particularly notorious for their baseless and often harsh comments. However, in a world where negativity can easily spread, Grande has become a master at turning the tables on such trolls with grace and humor. Recently, a troll took to social media to criticize one of her albums, boldly declaring it the worst in her discography. The comment quickly gained attention, not only for its harshness, but also because of how Grande chose to respond. Rather than engaging in a heated back and forth, Grande's reply was a masterclass in how to deal with criticism, particularly when it comes from a place of malice rather than constructive feedback. Setting the stage to fully appreciate Grande's response, it's important to understand the context. Ariana Grande has had a remarkable career, with multiple chart-topping albums and numerous awards to her name. Her music has touched millions of people worldwide, and her evolution as an artist has been both bold and dynamic. Despite this, like any artist who takes risks, she has faced criticism along the way. The album in question wasn't specified by the troll, but let's assume they were referring to one of her more experimental projects. Grande has always been willing to push the boundaries of pop music, infusing her albums with elements of R&B, trap, and even jazz. While this approach has earned her critical acclaim, it has also occasionally divided her fan base. For some listeners, the shifts in style from one album to another might seem jarring or less appealing compared to her earlier work. The Trolls comment, the Trolls comment was simple but cutting. This is the worst album you've ever made. What happened to you? Such a remark is designed to sting, and it plays on the fear that every artist faces, the possibility of disappointing their fans or failing to live up to their own standards. 
in an industry as unforgiving as music, where trends change rapidly and the pressure to constantly innovate is immense. A comment like this can be more hurtful than it seems. Ariana's response Ariana Grande's response to the troll was nothing short of priceless. Instead of lashing out or ignoring the comment, she responded with a mix of humor, humility, and confidence. She replied, Thank you for your feedback. I'm sorry it wasn't your cup of tea. Maybe the next one will be more your vibe. Sending you love either way. This response is a masterclass in dealing with negativity, particularly in the public sphere. Let's break down why it's so effective. 1. Acknowledgement without escalation. The first thing Grande does right is acknowledge the troll's comment without escalating the situation. She doesn't ignore the criticism, nor does she dismiss it as irrelevant. By saying, thank you for your feedback, she immediately disarms the troll, who likely expected either no response or a defensive one. Acknowledgement is key because it shows that she's not afraid to confront criticism head-on. 2. Keeping it light Grandy's use of humor is subtle but powerful. The phrase, maybe the next one will be more your vibe, is playful and non-confrontational. It suggests that music, like any form of art, is subjective, and that it's perfectly okay if one album doesn't resonate with every listener. This approach keeps the tone light and avoids turning the exchange into a heated argument. 3. Demonstrating confidence by not apologizing for the album itself, but rather for the fact that it wasn't to the troll's taste. Grande demonstrates confidence in her work. She doesn't try to justify the album or explain her artistic choices, which would imply that the troll's opinion has the power to undermine her creative decisions. Instead, she stands by her work while also expressing hope that the troll might enjoy her future projects. This confidence is key in maintaining her artistic integrity. 4. Spreading positivity, the most striking part of Grande's response is the final line, sending you love either way. This is where she flips the script on the troll entirely. Instead of responding to negativity with more negativity, she chooses to spread positivity. This kind of response is not only disarming, but also serves as a reminder that kindness can be more powerful than any cutting remark. In a world where online interactions can quickly become toxic, Grande's choice to respond with love rather than anger sets a powerful example. 5. Understanding the bigger picture, what makes Grande's response even more admirable, is her understanding of the bigger picture. She knows that for every troll who criticizes her work, there are thousands of fans who love and appreciate it. By not dwelling on the negativity, she keeps her focus on the positive impact her music has on the world. This mindset is crucial for any artist who wants to maintain their sanity and continue creating without being bogged down by the opinions of a few detractors. The power of grace under pressure Ariana Grande's response to the troll is a shining example of grace under pressure. It's easy to react emotionally to criticism, especially when it feels unjust or malicious. However, Grande's ability to keep her cool and respond with humor and kindness shows a level of maturity and emotional intelligence that is truly inspiring. In the age of social media, where everyone has a platform to voice their opinions, dealing with criticism is a skill that all public figures must learn. Grande's response serves as a blueprint for how to handle negativity in a way that is both dignified and effective. It's a reminder that we don't have to let the opinions of others dictate our self-worth or the way we respond to challenges. Learning from Ariana's example, there's a lot we can learn from Ariana Grande's response to the troll. Whether you're an artist, a public